Good Tuesday afternoon, everybody. It's Bonnie Hunter in the Quiltville studio, and I have an update. I'm so excited because my calendar is pretty clear today, and I'm getting that pineapple quilt sewn together. So let me turn the camera around. You can see I've got half of it sewn together. The other half, look how much stuff shrinks up when you, when you sew them together. The remaining half is down here. And when I sew things on point, what I like to do is start in the upper right left corner and I will work diagonal rows until I reach the center. Now this is a square quilt, so the first half includes the center row, which has the opposite two corners on it. So now what I will do is come over here and start at the opposite corner. So I will take this corner block and add the two setting triangles and the corner to it and then I will assemble the next diagonal row and add that to the corner and then do the third diagonal row and add everything to the mothership until I reach the center and once I reach the center I'll join the two halves together and that keeps things from being too heavy too unwieldy I had questions asking about the seams on the back, so we'll share this. Look at this. Never, never, never wait to remove the paper until you've sewn the whole quilt top together because it's just, it's just too much. So what I like to do is trim my blocks up, and then as soon as the blocks are trimmed, or I've got a dozen or so blocks trimmed, I'll, I'll sit for an evening and remove the paper. And I start from... If I piece from the center out, then I remove the paper in reverse order. So I would do four corners, four sides, four corners, four sides, and work my way into the inside. And so the paper comes off in the reverse order that it went on, and it's um, much easier to uh, manage the paper removal that way. But the seams are not a problem because I'm going to be machine quilting this. It's going to be a heavy top, but it's sure going to be a lot of fun. I'm loving it. I'm only wishing I made it bigger. No, just kidding. <laughs> so that's my plan for today. I want to get the top together. And then just, I'm still deciding if I want to do borders or something. I'm not sure. And I will look for backing fabrics and see what I can put together to put a backing on it. But at this point, I'm really thinking just a black binding to just stop the design at the edge of the quilt just stop it and not have to do any additional piecing I really don't want to put a plain fabric border on there because the weight of the blocks in the center are going to be so much heavier than just putting a plain fabric border on the outside so that's where my thoughts are are heading right now let me know what you think leave a comment let me know what you're thinking give me a like give me a share and have a marvelous Tuesday. Bye, everybody.